Thank you very much. Well, it is a good day to grab a few friends, head over to the Huron River. That's right. From canoeing to sightseeing, a whole lot of things to do. And that's where we find Fox News' Veronica Meadows. She is there live with more. Good morning, good Veronica. Good morning, Veronica. Hey guys, good morning to you as well. We have a great assignment this morning. You can see the canoes and kayaks are all around us. We made, made our way to Milford for Hevner's Canoe and Kayak Rental. Pam, good morning. You are with us this morning. Good morning. Give us kind of a rundown of the Huron River. Yeah, so the Huron River is right here in southeast Michigan. Uh, it's 125 miles long. It starts up here in Milford and heads down to Lake Erie. And it's just a really wonderful opportunity for families to get out and enjoy enjoy nature and do some paddling and have some fun. It's a very impressive river. How many counties does it go through? Uh, there are seven counties here. Uh, let's see, you're putting me to my test. We can just stay with seven counties. I won't make you go into too many of the specifics, but really when you think about, you know, the scope of the river, uh, it's also a great spot for local businesses like Hevner's here too. That's right. Yes, we're so happy to be up here at Hevner's this morning. They're one of the six outfitters that are on the Huron River where people can go out and rent kayaks and canoes and um, get transportation uh, for their paddle trip. Awesome. How has the season been for the canoers and kayakers? Oh, it's been a great season and I'm so happy that this week the weather's cooling off a little bit um, but it's been really busy for a lot of them and um, things are going great. Awesome. Good to hear. So also a lot of stewardship programs too. really a lot of different ways for folks to get involved when caring for the river. That's right. Um, I work for the Huron River Watershed Council and uh, we have many different ways people can get involved. We do a lot of river monitoring. Uh, we teach people how to get out and do cleanups, how to take care of their storm drains. Um, just, you know, a lot of opportunities to really learn about the river and understand how to protect and take care of it. Very cool. So more than 120 miles long let's say somebody a family friends wants to canoe or kayak the whole thing how would they go about doing that well, we have a special program called the Huron 104 uh, because the paddle part is about 104 miles long. Um, they can come to our website, HuronRiverWaterTrail.org, and learn all about the different sections of the river. And um, there are a couple ways to tackle it. You can paddle through. Uh, it takes about five days, and there's some opportunities to camp along the way. Or uh, we have many people who do it section by section and cover the entire river over a summer. Okay, so it kind of depends what you want to do. If you want to get it all done at once, takes about a week, or you can break it up in the summer. What's your favorite way? Do you have a favorite part of the river that you love to go to? Um, I actually love it up here. Uh, I love coming up here and launching from Hevner's and um, heading upstream to into the Proud Lake uh, recreation area and even downstream towards Milford. Uh, there's a lot of wildlife up here. I always see a great blue heron when I'm out on the water, tons of turtles, and um, sometimes you can even see fish. Absolutely amazing. So if you want to check out all of the wildlife, this is a great spot to do it. Experience level. What type of experience level does the Huron River work for? So the Huron is um, a very easy river to paddle. Um, I would say it's a great river for beginners. Um, there aren't too many spots where uh, you're going to run into challenges. Um, but that is, you know, an important safety tip when you're planning your trip. You want to make sure that you're choosing a trip that uh, matches your experience experience level and um, you know the information at the water trail uh, website can help you do that there you guys have it we'll have more information for you as well on fox2detroit.com this morning we have a huge morning planned we're going out into the river for a couple of our minutes with you we're also going to be here talking more about safety so we'll have everything you need to know about canoeing and kayaking for the summer season for now from milford we'll send it back to you